fucking cold outside. The guy on the radio said it's gonna get down to 34. It's 34. That's freezing, for Christ's sakes. Yo, Chili. Wait, you spacing? They're closing down the Granville. You know that theater down in Biscayne. Yeah, the guy owes Momo a couple G's. I know. I was thinking maybe Momo should buy it. I could run it for him, show some old Cagney movies. Hey, what's Momo gonna want with some broken down theater that shows movies no one wants to see anymore? Outside of maybe turning it into some kind of porno house, not gonna give much of a fuck. I'm gonna go talk to this Joey. Besides, you already got a job. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ray. How you doing? Yeah, good, you? Okay. Hey, can you believe this weather? Miami Beach, for Christ's sakes. Chili Palmer. It's chilly outside, and it's chilly inside. It's a regular fucking chili fest. <laughs> How you doing, Ray? And, well, obviously much better than you, Chili. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, when you're done staring out the window, I'll meet you back at the office. Hey, where's my coat? It's not one of these. Well, do you see a black leather jacket? Fingertip length, like the one Pacino wore on Serpico? Because if you don't, you owe me $379. Well, maybe you didn't see the sign. I've seen the sign, but I didn't come to sunny Florida to freeze my ass off. You got that? Yeah. So you either find my coat, or you give me the $379 that my ex-wife paid for it at Alexander's. Rino, wait a minute. Ray Bones took my coat? No, no, he didn't take it. He borrowed it. Uh, see, somebody took his coat. So Mr. Barboni tried this other coat, and it fit him pretty good. That was my coat. He was wearing it to go home, but he's not going to keep it. No. My car keys are in that coat. Uh, Mr. Barboni is a good customer. You know, he works for Jimmy Cab. <laughs> I know who he works for. Where's your phone? This way. Are you sure it was Ray Bones who took the coat? That's what the man said. Hey, tomorrow I see on the TV weather it's gonna be nice and warm. You don't need the coat. This is it. Hey, Chili, get the coat. Just don't piss the guy off, okay? And we're gonna have to call Momo and straighten the whole thing out. And Momo's gonna be pissed off for wasting his time. We don't need that, huh? Don't worry. I'm not gonna say any more than I have to, if that. What do you want me to do, Ray? Go to war over a fucking coat? <laughs> You're lucky the guy didn't kill you. The coat was a Christmas present, for Christ's sakes. Now listen to me, Jimmy. You gotta do something about this guy, but he's running like a buck. And he's got no fucking respect for none of us. He's got no respect for you. And I don't gotta do shit. Chili Palmer don't work for me. He works for Momo up in Brooklyn. So as long as Momo's around, nothing happens to Chili Palmer. Do you understand? Over here. We're here, Momo. Well, I hope you guys check this place out good, because I'm going in there alone, and I don't want no fucking surprises. Oh, yeah, I checked everything, Momo.
Mom. Say, you're never gonna sleep again? No, I said I'm never going to bed. See, there's a difference. See, this article says that most people die in their beds. I figure as long as I stay out of bed, I'm safe. What? Right. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Where are you gonna sleep? In my recliner. You know, the tan one in the TV room? Well, I'll go to the coffee shop, slide into a booth, pull my hat down. Hey, how many people you know died in a coffee shop? Cut straight hair and hair, just bags. <laughs> hey, Bones. That's quite a scar you got in your head. Why don't you have these guys fit you for a rug? Cover it up for you. Hmm? You two geezers take your game to the park. This man is the man. You understand what I'm saying, motherfucker? He's Mr. Bones. And you speak to Mr. Bones from now on. Come on, you can do better than him, can't you? Not these days, not unless you speak Spanish. You got a miss, Leo DeVoe, he's six weeks over. He's dead. How do you know he's dead? Did he tell you? Yeah, he told me that he was dead. Personally? Yeah, Ray, he personally told me that he got killed in that getaway jet crash that happened a month ago. Well, maybe he took out some flight insurance. Go check with his wife. You check it out. It's your book now. He owns some dry cleaning store over on Federal Highway. Let me explain something to you. Bobo is dead, which means that everything he had now belongs to Jimmy Cap including you, which also means that when I speak, I speak for Jimmy. E.g., from now on, you start showing me the proper fucking respect. E.g. means, for example, what I think you want to say is I E. Bullshit, it's short for ergo. Ask your man. The best of my knowledge, E.g. means, for example. E.g., I E, fuck you. The point is this, is that when I say jump, you say okay, okay? Yeah, right, okay. All right. Now, you owe me the dry cleaners 15 G's plus the juice, which is another. $2,700. Now, you either get it from his wife or out of your own pocket. I don't give a fuck, but you never hand me a book with a miss. We'll see you, Ray. Go see the dry cleaner's wife. You got three days. I told you not to piss him off that time. You remember? Don't say I... another fucking word, all right? 